I bought the Nintendo Switch, but I got scammed out of $100 in the process. <laughs> to film but yeah if you saw my thumbnail I got scammed out of a hundred dollars trying to buy the Nintendo Switch and I've already filmed this entire video and it was over 20 minutes long so I'm gonna need to try again to make it snippy basically because of coronavirus everybody's inside it's 150 degrees outside so nobody's playing outside therefore they need more indoor activities hobbies myself included wanted you know something to take my mind off of life anyways decided i wanted to play animal crossing 100 percent. i saw videos about animal crossing i was like y'all i have to have it i need animal crossing in my life so i started the hunt i'm trying to find a nintendo switch naturally i always go to craigslist facebook marketplace those kind of apps first i'm just a very big fan of that and i quickly realized not a single person was selling the switch below retail value every single listing i saw was 300 dollars or more now if you're unfamiliar with the switch this is the game console version meaning you can take these controllers off you can sit on your couch watch it on your tv and play and you can slide these on and actually play for the handheld set there's also a Nintendo Switch Lite, which is $100 cheaper. That is just a handheld version. But I know for sure I wanted this Switch. Anyways, I messaged everybody that was selling it for $300 retail, used, trying to get a hold of one. I was offering to pay shipping for people. Y'all, in this process, I called six different Targets in Tennessee, one in Memphis, to see if they had any in stock. The one here in Knoxville, when I called that Target, she laughed so hard and said, honey, you will not see a Nintendo Switch until this pandemic's over. And I was like, rude. Anyways, this is such a long story i need to really get to the point so yeah long story short i saw a guy on the app offer up offering 200 dollars for it red flag number one but he had just listed it like four minutes ago so i was thinking he obviously has not done his research so he doesn't know that he can make a lot of money from this so i jumped on it i actually texted him because he left to sell on the ad and he texted me back really nice guy we exchanged it where he was going to ship it to me and he gave me a tracking number the tracking number said it was in the system we did our transaction through google pay so it was protected i didn't I wasn't like giving my bank information. Obviously, don't do that. This is 2020. You have a lot of safe ways to pay over the internet. Oh, well, I think I scan. So basically, we agreed that I pay half now and then the other half when I receive the switch in the mail. So I gave him $100 online through Google Pay. And he was texting back all day. Um, we had like normal conversation. It wasn't weird or anything. And by Wednesday, I had texted him probably six times and he didn't reply. I called him three times. He requested the other $100 and then I texted him back i said i'm not sending it back until i receive the switch he's like what do you mean it's already on your doorstep and obviously the tracking number was fake <laughs> so i fell for it even though it was a tracking number in the usps basically he created a legit label for me in the postal service but didn't actually ship anything so longer story a little shorter i never received the switch i did not give him the other hundred dollars obviously but i gave up on it by wednesday that's when i determined it's 100 percent a scam no, I did not yell at him. I did not do anything. I'm not going to win. That's not what Jesus would do. Although Jesus would not be trying to fight somebody for a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so I just let it be. Did not communicate again with him. Anyways, so on Wednesday, I started calling around at all my retailers in the area, asking them like, what body part do I need to sell to get a Nintendo Switch? That's literally what I asked this guy at GameStop. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, I have called every place in East Tennessee and, and nobody has the Switch. In fact, on Thursday, when I called a different Target in the area they said that they're getting a shipment of one switch the next morning at 8 a.m and she was like you're gonna have to get here by seven and wait at the door because there's gonna be a line of people looking for that switch and i was like oh my word so i planned on doing that luckily i didn't have to because when i called that GameStop, he was like i've got six right here on my shelf and i was like no freaking way then i was like dude listen i've already been scammed out of this switch like i'm not about to drive all the way there and you not have one he's like no i literally have them brand new from nintendo he's like not used and there's actually an older
newer version with a less battery life that people are trying to sell for the same price. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you this red box is the newer one with the best battery life. So if you're trying to buy one, don't get tricked into buying the white box with the red thing here. I'll insert a photo because it, it's the first version that came out. It just doesn't have that good of a battery. It's still fine. Whatever you can get your hands on, buy it. But I'm just letting you guys know this is the newer one. Anyways, so I booked it over to that GameStop and literally the two people in front of me in line bought a switch i was sweating i was like oh my gosh what if he ran out like how many people came before me it was like a 40 minute drive i was sweating and i get up to the counter and he was like yeah i totally still got it i was like you don't even know so i bought it brand new from gamestop from nintendo not used and all was well and that's the end of the story <laughs> also i ordered the game animal crossing off amazon so this came on wednesday when i just realized i was scammed out of the switch and i'm not gonna get one so i literally cried when i opened this up it was it was a sad day but all is well because i actually have one and it is so much fun but anyways that's the whole story yeah you can laugh at me i give you full permission for as many deals Deals that I have made on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and offer up. You know, this is the first scam in probably 10 years. I got scammed out of a Game Boy game when I was a teenager. I do a lot of research. Also, my dad is like a prime negotiator and he is the Craigslist king. So I've learned a lot of tips from him, but I think I was just overly desperate for this switch and I was blindsided by my own trust with this guy and that was my fault. So learn from me, trust your gut, try not to buy anything on the internet you don't have to yeah so i'm gonna show you a little bit of animal crossing i do not have the cool little gadget to do screen sharing all professional like so it's literally just gonna be my camera showing you the tv but yeah my cute little island is so fun and i've only been playing for three days so it is very basic let's watch some animal crossing so this is my little house. It used to have a tent and just today I got upgraded to a house and this is all my junk I've thrown outside. Those are the flowers that I planted that I can water at any time. It's so cute. If you're wondering why I have random animals and fish and everything out here, the museum that I'm dropping them off at is not built yet, but they're in the process of building it. That's why I have this fossil that I can pick up at any point and then drop back off. Also, my outfit is a wetsuit, so I can jump in the water at any point, swim around. You can also pick up these cute little seashells. That's a sand dollar. I can vault over the river. Oh, I just about impaled that fish. <laughs> it's so cute. This is the most fun game ever, I swear. It's the only game I've played so far on the Switch. This is one of my villagers' houses. Oh, he has a table. He fancy. Hey, Carlisle. Charlisle. Look at me sleeping in the sleeping bag. I can turn off his light. So if you're an Animal Crossing champ, you're probably laughing at how empty my island is. This is the airport, but since I haven't signed up for online Nintendo subscription, I can't really fly anywhere. Here's a bulletin board that you can literally draw on if you want. That's what I drew one day. It was really hard. <laughs> You can chop down these trees and you can eat these cherries. You can pick up wood. I can catch this butterfly. I think it's a basic blue butterfly. Oh, it's yellow, it just changed. Oh, yeah, girl. I need to change my outfit, that is really embarrassing. I'm wearing striped socks with a striped wetsuit. Also, you guys, I can dig a hole randomly. Look how cool this is. Now there's a hole forever and I can hop over it. <laughs> or I can cover it back up. Also, fishing is pretty difficult. I haven't really gotten a hold of it yet, but I'm learning. All right, you guys, I'm determined to get this fish. There we go. Bite. Oh, he got it. Woo! I got a bluegill. That's a new one. Also, I have a smartphone, which is hilarious. These are my apps. And then you earn these like nook miles that give you money if you do certain things. This is me chopping down a bunch of wood. Also, you guys, my house is really embarrassing. I haven't decorated. I have a succulent plant and a radio. But the cool thing about the house is I can put some things in storage. So I've got some fossils waiting. I've got a random boot that I pulled out of the pond. I'm gonna put these pants on though, or skirt. Oh my word, look at my outfit. <laughs> Y'all, this outfit is humiliating. I'm gonna sell these butterflies because I've already turned them in to the museum. 
So 300 bells, that's like, I guess $300. Then all I did was transfer my little controllers over to this handheld version. And now I can play as a handheld. Let's see if I can catch this bug on this tree. You guys see it? Oh, I got a brown cicada. I can look at all the bugs and fish and everything that I catch on this critteropedia. So this is all I've caught in the ocean. And then these are all the freshwater fish. Well, they're not freshwater, but in the river or pond. And then these are all the critters. Also notice it is July 26th at 1253 p.m. So this is real time. And later in the day at like sunset or sunrise, it is beautiful out here playing around the island. Another way you can play is to kick the kickstand back on your switch. Remove the controllers. And now I have my little controllers, which they come with a wrist strap that I can put on. Here's the left one. And now I can play just like this. You can eat the fruit for extra power. Also, I just realized this yesterday, but you can dig up an entire tree, which is hilarious. And I can plant it. Also, sometimes when you chop down too many trees, a wasp nest will come get you. And my ax will break because it's literally a flimsy ax. Look, it just broke. <laughs> See, there's the, there's the wasps. They're gonna chase me around the island. <laughs> I don't think you can outrun them, but I try every time. It's pretty intense. Ah! <laughs> I'm running like a crazy person with an ax. Oh, oh, my controller's vibrating. Oh, they got me. Look at my swollen face. <laughs> and it stays swollen until you get some medicine to fix it. So in order to make the medicine, I need the wasp nest itself. And then I also need some weeds to make the medicine. So here's some weeds. So I pick them up. I place my workbench. And then I build some medicine. So it needs a wasp nest and three weeds. There I am making my own medicine like a pharmacist. And then I can take the medicine. And I no longer have a swollen eyeball. So I hope you guys like that. Did you just hear that thunder? Yeah, it's about to be storming. I'm trying to hurry up and get this clip done. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that little Animal Crossing tutorial showing my island. Let me know any tips or tricks that I need to know. I am a newbie with this, but oh my gosh, this is seriously so much fun and I'm so excited to play it. <sighs> and yeah, you guys, again, learn from my mistake on the internet scam. Trust your gut. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's not very fun to talk about. It's very vulnerable, me saying, hey, I messed up, so. Learn from me, you guys. Don't make stupid mistakes. Anyways, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye.